Welcome and welcome back, survivors. It's your girl, Angelic Vixen, coming at you with another Ark Survival Ascended video. And let me tell you, things just got way cooler in Ark. In today's video, I am thrilled to share something that's going to elevate your gameplay, the ultimate customization feature. Imagine tweaking every corner of your base to absolute perfection. So if you're a fan of personalizing your space, or if the art of base beautification speaks to your soul, then you're in for an absolute delight. Stay tuned as we unveil the magic of making Ark truly your own. All right, so let's head over to the cooking pot so I, I can show you all of the really cool colors that we have now. Look at how this is set up and then look at the variations of the color palette. This is surreal. I am so excited because we were so limited with the paint before and the paint before was not a very deep color. It was not saturated. So you really didn't get that deep color that you were looking for. I used to hate black because black just did not look that good in ASC, but in ASA, oh my goodness, it is so saturated. So let me show you how to make it. It's very simple. You'll add in the berries from the recipe that you need and some water. And then we'll just sit here and watch. I want you to see what it does. You get three different colors. Look at this. This is very interesting. I am so excited about this. So again, you can see the recipe when you look at the color, you just put in the berries that are required with water and then you get your colors. Now look at all of the different colors that you get and they're all in the cosmetics tab. So when you add in dyes, they're not in your inventory. They're in cosmetics. And then you can see what you can paint that's in your inventory. This is absolutely incredible. Look at this. I want you to see just how amazing this is. You can really customize so many things. I am thrilled. I am absolutely thrilled. So if, for instance, your tribe wears a certain color, everyone will be able to look like that. And the colors are deep. They're saturated. They're beautiful. Look at this. Look at how amazing this looks. And I'm just giving you examples here as to what you can play around with, what colors look even better. I mean, wow. This is everything I ever wanted in ASC and we did not have. All right, so take a look at my floor. This is something that I've always wanted to do in ARC, and I could not do it before because, again, in my opinion, the colors just were not very impressive in ASE, but now that is an entirely different situation. So I am so excited to actually customize everything, especially on our official base. It is going to look so cool. So as you can see here, it's really quite simple. It's just like it used to be. You have the color regions right here, though. See, you just just right click on your mouse and then click the key, the number keys on your keyboard, and then you can select where and how you want to paint. You'll memorize which color zones work. That way it'll be much easier for you going forward. One does the whole piece from what I've been seeing. And as you can see, you can change the flame color as well as the entire, um, like for these, the entire post. So everything you can customize. There is nothing on this stuff right here that you cannot customize, which is truly incredible. Now I wanna take you over really close to these torches so you can really look at how beautiful the quality is. I mean, imagine your base in these colors because it works on the lamp posts as well. So imagine the color scheme, the ambience, the feel, the vibe of your base. So now I'm going to show you how to do this on the torches. All right, so let's start our torch. Put in some spark powder here. Okay, and now we're going to go to our cosmetics tab, change the color. And I know that one and five are the two that I want. So I'm going to select one and five because five is the flame. One is the band. So just like that. Now you have those two. And now I'm going to pick black so it matches my other ones. Okay. 
And now I'm gonna select all the other zones that are not one and five, okay? By doing that means it's not going to paint the zones that I don't want it to paint, which is so convenient. This is so fast. Look at this. This is incredible. You can do these so fast. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. I am so thankful to Wildcard. Now I wanna show you the selfies. This is fun. This is gonna be great and oh my goodness. Um, you have to use photo mode to be able to do this though. So this is my selfie. You're gonna go into photo mode, okay? And you're gonna scroll down, okay? So let me scroll down here and it says save as painting. Do you see that there? Okay, so let me get myself into view. You like, um, from what my experience is, you want to create um, an image that's bright, very light. You have to make sure that it's bright or it will not show up on a lot of the objects that can go on. So these are all of the objects you can save this picture to. It works on every single one of them. But again, you're gonna wanna make them bright. I will show you a darker um, image so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so you'll name it whatever it is you wanna name it, okay? Now you have your picture, okay? So you're gonna go out of photo mode, okay? Let me go over here to my canvas that is blank. And I'm gonna show you how simple this is, okay? So now here's your canvas. You can paint directly on it or you can put images, okay? I'm gonna show you how to do both, but we're gonna start with the image, okay? So this is the picture that I just took. These are all the colors that are required. So just be aware that you do have to add in the colors to make sure that it'll actually be able to paint it for you. Once you're ready and you have all of your paints in your inventory, um, you clicked um, apply paint and now it is painting your masterpiece. I'm gonna show you just how long this takes. It's not that bad, but it does take a few moments to uh, paint the image. I mean, I just see endless possibilities with this. You can have different artwork, you can have your favorite dinos, you can make your base epic. Look at this, look at this. Is that not the coolest? So yeah, you can put your own pictures around, you can put pictures of your favorite anything, you can put pictures of winning a boss fight. You can also draw. I love this. Like, if you're really good with this, you could have so much fun. But you can write, you can, you know, draw little images, whatever you want. So I'm gonna show you how this works. All right. So to make a thick line, you're gonna click your less left mouse button and then you'll hit shift. That way you can have the thick line. And we have a heart and a little smiley. Isn't it cute? <laughs> and now I'm gonna show you, it's very simple to erase. It's control and um, right click. So you'll just take out whatever you need to fix, okay? And then if you wanna fix it again, you just go back and draw it in. You can use all the different colors in your color palette. There's a lot of options here, so definitely come through and check it out. But look at that. Look at how amazing all of this is. All right, so now let me show you what you can customize so you can get a visual of how this works. I really want you to see it because the quality compared to what we had in ASC is so much better. So let me show you just how amazing this looks. Okay, so here's the zones. Look at this. Imagine what you're gonna be able to do in your own base. Some of us really wanted to be able to do this in a grand level, you know what I mean? Let me show you the bunk bed though, because I think the bunk bed looks really amazing. Watch this. You can change the blanket color, you can change the pillowcase cover, and you can change the frame. Like, look at that. Imagine what your base is gonna look like. It's gonna be very, very beautiful. It's gonna be very you. Whatever color scheme you really like, it's going to be you. So now I wanna show you the saturation on the walls because a lot of us want to really, you know, put that either on our gates or on our walls of our base. But let me first show you another cool trick, which I will show you in another video as well. But if you need to make it brighter and you're in single player, you can do it from photo mode really quick by changing the time of day, and then it'll make it really bright. So if you're looking for something really quick and you don't feel like typing in a code like set time, you can do it that way. All right, so now I want you to see the colors. I am so excited. Let me pick a different color here so I can really show you. Look at this. Look at, Thatch never looked this good. Thatch absolutely, positively never looked this amazing, look at this. Look what you can create, all the different colors. 
I'm blown away by the quality. I am just blown away. Look at this. All right, so now that we've painted it, look, look at that. Look at what you'll be able to do. And then I wanna show you the back. Look, look at that. Truly remarkable. I am blown away because there's so many different zones. You know what I mean? There are so many different zones. All right, so let me show you the wood wall. We'll pick a different color here that'll really stand out. So we have there. Let's see, let me turn it around here. Why aren't you clicking? There we go. It wasn't working. <laughs> Look at that color, it is surreal. Oh my goodness, I mean, wow. Just look at this. You are going to make your bases look absolutely incredible. I can't wait to see what people come up with. The saturation of color is phenomenal. Look at this. And a lot of people have their bases in wood and stone. Look at that. Truly beautiful. Now I gotta show you stone. I really like stone. Watch this. Okay, let's pick a different color. Hmm, we'll go with, we'll go with a pink color, pinkish purple. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Seriously, it looks incredible. Where is it? There it is, look. Look at that. And sometimes you will actually notice a variation in color depending on where it hits. Notice that? It gets darker or lighter. The shade kind of changes depending on if it's wood or if it's stone, even on the same object. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Like, I really like that. That looks so cool. Look at this. Now I want to show you on metal because of course metal was always the best one with the colors, in my opinion anyway, um, in the past. So look at this. Wait, I turned around. Look at the color. I'm like geeking out with color, I swear. I absolutely love the saturation. They're so, like, such a deep color, all of them. Like, they really stand out. Look at that. Is that not the coolest? Look at this. I, I'm just, I'm having a great time. Arc just got so much cooler, and I can't wait to show you the greenhouse, which is next. This <laughs> is neat. This is really neat. I'll pick red. Red should show up pretty good. All right, so as you see, look at this. It's so pretty. Let me turn it around. Look at that. And look at that. Look at how cool that is. Do you see that? Oh my goodness. It looks so neat. And that's like the little screws on there. So I wanna show you what this looks like when you back away from it. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Greenhouses just got way cooler. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Does that not look so cool for your greenhouse in whatever color you can imagine? This is the future of ARC, full customization. All right, so I had a couple questions that I wanted to answer, so I wanna see if it worked on the gravestones and look at what I discovered. Yes, it most certainly does. I can't wait to show this to you, so let me show you how this works. Okay. So you're gonna put whatever you want down, your little sign or your canvas. I just wanted to see if you could actually do this. So let's say you have your favorite, you know, dino and you take a picture of it in photo mode, okay? You save it and let's say for some reason you lose your favorite dino. Maybe you get arced, maybe you run into a giga, however it works for you. And now you have your little gravestone that you're like in memory of my favorite dino. Now you can not only just put their name on it, you can put their picture and their name on it, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. And I think a lot of people are actually gonna do this because you know, there are certain dinos that you never wanna forget. And now again, you wanna make sure it's really bright because the image is not gonna come out super perfect, but it's not bad, it's not bad. So this is Rexy. Rexy is not dead, but I just wanna show you how this works. This is my favorite Rex that I've actually spawned in so far that I've been testing on. So now I'm gonna show you how you can put the image, as I just showed, and now their name. So I just put black paint and we're gonna put rest in peace, Rexy. <laughs> 
you know that you're going to walk up to somebody's base sometime and actually find this. I just know it. And it's going to make me laugh because it's so awesome, though. It really is because you can forever remember whatever you've lost. And it's adorable. So let me just make it cute. Okay. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. Rest in peace, Rexy. Thankfully, the Rexy is still alive. And so is Jim the Dodo. It's one of these Dodos out here that I took a picture of. And the last thing that I want to show you as far as the customization is the gates. Because that's the one thing that you definitely see a lot of people investing paint in is to paint their gates. So I just want to show you how beautiful this is now. Look at this to give you an idea of just how amazing bases are going to look in ARC because now you really can invest the time and energy in perfecting your base to really match who you are as a person. The colors are endless, the options are endless, and it's going to be so much fun. So one of the things that I was curious about was if you could still paint your dinos, and as you can see, you can. So I tested it out with blue and now to record it, I'm going to show you in pink just so that the colors really show up. Um, so all you'll do is go in and decide however you want it to look. So this is really great for like war paint. If you're about to go into a battle, you can really get your dinos ready um, to uh, really stand out and shine. Or you could try to get them to blend in, you know, camouflage them into whatever setting that you're dealing with. But I just want to show you what this looks like. And there you have it. Look at that. You can really customize your dinos <laughs> as well. Is this not the coolest? I am so excited. And the colors, again, they're incredible. And the last thing that I wanted to know is basically how to remove the paint. So you do that with the soap, okay? You switch it to soap by clicking N. You spray and it erases whatever it is um, that you've put down. But there is another option. Because we can put down all structures and pick them back up, another easy method is to pick up the piece whatever's painted and then put it back down and voila there you have it you remove the paint automatically so you can use soap or you can just pick it up and put it back it's a great option and i want to show you it does work um, on everything that i tried so far so let me put that back in i love the snap points until they don't work see and there you have it so you can use soap or you can just pick it up and put it back down and voila you are done so that's all I've got for you, survivors. I really hope all of this was helpful. I tried to think of everything that I could to test out just to see how much we can customize. But definitely let me know in the comments below if you have discovered anything else that is useful about the painting and the customization of Ark Survival Ascended. So thank you so very much for joining me for this video. If you haven't already done so, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads. And until next time, survivors, keep surviving!